today we're talking about choices. Good choices, bad choices, right? And I went to the market yesterday and I couldn't believe the section, the Halloween section. Have you been to the market lately with the Halloween candy section? I have a window. There are so many choices. So many choices of candy. You can pick candies with nuts, right? Without nuts. We can pick chewy candies. We can pick chocolate bars. Hold on, not till the end. We can pick soft candies. We can pick hard candies. I mean, so many choices. So what if I, you came to my house to trick or treat and I offered you these choices? Is anybody gonna choose this one? Yeah, okay. Some of our, our friends like the lollipop. How about the ones with the nuts? Okay. How about this one? Anybody gonna pick my onion? Okay. What if my whole bowl was onions? Would you ever want to come to my house for trick or treat? Yeah, I, I might take it. I could use it to make, you know, some yellow tea or something. But uh, lots of choices, right? So the great thing about choices is we get to decide what do we like? What do we not like, right? Think about your friends at school, the people you, in your classroom, all right? Some, some might be a little nutty, but they're fun. We like them, right? Some might be a little hard to get to know, but when we do, aren't we happy that we do get to know them? You have choices every day. You get to choose to get up and, and, and decide what you're gonna wear. You get to choose what friends you're gonna hang out with at school. Um, how did you make your choices for your friends? Think about your, 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 your best friends at school. How did you decide for them to be your friends? What did you use to make that choice? Anybody want to give me some ideas? Okay. Um, yes, yes. If you have things in common, makes the friendship much happier. You get to do things together. Yeah, yeah. Maybe you like the same sport, the same subject. Yeah, good point, Tala. Yeah, yeah. Maybe you like the same choice in clothes. What else, Logan? Okay, so you like the same Oh my goodness. That's that's uh lucky. So um after you let's think back to after you come back from trick-or-treating with your with all the candy. And let's say somebody put this in your in your bag. And you pull, you're pulling everything out and you see this. I say, oh, onions. I hate onions. What? Yeah. <laughs> right. So when I was in our house, when when um when I was raising my sons, there was a word that we was not allowed in our house. It was a four-letter word, and it's probably not the four-letter word you're thinking about. The word that was never allowed in our house was the word eat. I think that word, I can't tell you how much it hurts my ear. We, the, it's okay to not like things. It's okay to not like the fact that somebody put an onion in your trick-or-treating bag. But do we really need to hate? Do we need to go that far? Um, it, it seems like the word hate is getting thrown around a lot these days. Do you hear it? Do you hear it? And I wonder to myself, do we really have to use the word hate? Can we choose a different word? Let's try thinking of a, a different word. Um, and let's let's go back to your friends at school. Is there are there people at school that a lot of people just say, "Oh, I hate so and so." Um, yeah. Yeah, 
why? Why do people say that about Abram? What what makes him a person that people hate? Abram just a bully. Good one. That's a great example. There are bullies. Abram might not make good choices. Yeah, he might not make good choices. He might not be very nice. But do we have to hate Abram? Can we just dislike him very much? Can we choose to just not be around Abram when he makes those choices? Because Haiti takes Abram, poor Abram, to a different level. Yeah, we'll to make a lot more. Yeah. So let's think of another word we can use besides hate. Instead of I hate Abram, what can we say? Tala? I dislike. I, I dislike Abram. I do not like the choices that Abram makes. What else? Abram is not my favorite person. Good. These are choices. We have the choice with the words we're using and how we're interacting with people. So when we're born, our hearts are just like this. They're nice and pure. That's your heart when you're born. And we choose the people, the places, and the things that we surround ourselves. For example, what are some things that make your heart feel goodness, feel happy? Who are the people that make your heart happy? Yeah, friends. So when you have a really nice, good friend and things in common, that changes our heart. What else? What else can change our heart? Yeah. Your mom. You love your mom. So, so that's going to change your heart for the better. What else? Logan? Your dad. Your parents do all kinds of good things for you. What about if you choose a special candy that you like? Is that going to make your heart feel happy? Sure. That's going to make your heart happy. What else? Your mom, of course. All of our moms. Right. This is what, uh, what happens to our heart when we make good choices. These are the good choices. But when we choose to hate, when we choose those bad choices, when we don't follow rules like your friend, when we choose to be a bully, when uh, all of those things, that also changes our heart. This is when people are being a bully. This is when people use bad language. What else? Lying. This is when people lie. Look what's happening to our heart. It's taking all the beautiful things and it's making it black. Those are the bad choices. Walking around with a black heart is very heavy. It is not easy to carry around hatred. My, my challenge to you is to do everything you can to, to notice when these things are happening around you and choose to turn it into something else. Choose to make a better choice. Choose to help that person that's making a bad choice and, and, and nicely tell them, you know, you could have made a better choice. You could have done that a little differently. You know, when you did this, it hurt my feelings. Because your good actions help another person make good choices. Where there is love, there is God.
and challenging us to do the right thing. He's, God is there to make us stop and think. Here's the, here's the acronym. Have you ever seen that? WWJD? What would it be that you did? Very good. Stop and think. What would Jesus do? What would Jesus have me do? This is the way to keep our hearts happy and, and our lives happy and, and everything around. So the choice is ours. We get to make the choices. What are we going to do? Are we going to make them good? Yes. Are we going to make them bad? No. This is where we want to go. Choices. This week, when you're at school, I want you to think about every choice you're making. And I want you to consider what would Jesus do? Can you do that? Okay. Yes, sir. Question. So more oh, at the end of the I see my so. Very nice. So your heart's going to be real happy. Yes. All right, my friends. Do you have any uh, questions about choices? I'll take. I'll, I'll talk to you after in a second. Okay. So uh, we're going to go into class. Um, is next Sunday November? November is the twenty. Okay. So one more Sunday. But next Sunday. Um, Ms. Donna is going to be doing a big cultural art lesson with us. So that will be fun. But today we get to go to class. Um, Alex and Nico, I think, will join you guys. Do you guys want to join the metaverse for a bit? Um, sorry, guys. Uh, Peter has the younger ones first. Okay. Yeah. Let's go ahead and break up into our classes. Uh, I need to figure out who's here and how we're going to do this. Unless we want to do one big group today. Thank you. Thank you for joining us.